When I was in elementary school, there was a group of older kids. Uh, one morning, they cornered me in the concrete compound. They used to push me, hit me. There were a lot of bullies at my school. Not all of them were students. Or sometimes the teachers would just, they just weren't on my side. So this one morning they trapped me during recess. Sometimes, if I'm not proud of this, I wasn't violent, but if I was attacked or threatened, I would lash out. Helen changed that. She saw me across the yard, my hands balling into fists, my teeth set, surrounded by bigger kids. She hardly knew me then but she grabbed my hand and marched me to the far end of the field. She had this book with her, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And it was really cool. I mean, how awesome is Aslan, right? A wild, talking, magical lion that lets you ride on his back? And that's when I was hooked. Helen shared all her books with me, Fantasy, science fiction, the classics, everything. Reading people's stories helped me understand them. And that's what the Bible was for me. A way to understand. There are a lot of different religions and a lot of different belief sets and a lot of different stories that people take for varying degrees of truth. What's important about religion is that it reminds me to be forgiving. Helen taught me to turn the other cheek to the kids in the schoolyard and the adults that let it happen. There are terrible things done in the name of religion and hypocritical people. People who quibble over the details surrounding a single paragraph and forget to have an open heart. I'm not perfect. I can't be 100% selfless. I want to be happy. The Bible says, love others as you love yourself. This implies that you love yourself in the first place. No, it's not an excuse to be selfish. It's not okay to overlook people's needs for your own but I think it means that you should value yourself too. I struggle with this, but it helps to have something external to remind me to be forgiving and not to judge someone based on what they have or what they've been through. Everyone has a story if you take the time to understand it. I guess that's the connection for me. Both reading and religion encourage me to think of others, to imagine them as fully human as I am. It's my goal to always be true to that.